Good evening. A family claims that Oklahoma law protects people who commit sex crimes against kids. And that a 12-year-old relative is a victim of that law. Tonight, the girl and her family are speaking out to our Colleen Chin. Amanda Kelly, this little girl's story is graphic, but she is adamant about telling it. She believes it's the only way to make a difference. We've protected her identity. She says the law is not protecting her. The letter of the law, it's supposed to help get justice. That's the last thing I want is for them to do it to other girls. We'll call her Kim. She's 12, she's traumatized, and justice is all she wants. One of them holds me in their arms and like pushes me into the parents' bedroom onto the bed and they lock the door behind me. Kim spent the night at a friend's house this summer. She says everything happened when three neighborhood boys showed up in the morning. When that happened, they started, they pulled up my shirt. And, and she says from there, they forcibly fondled her breasts. It took a lot for Kim to tell her family, who then convinced her to tell police. We encourage our kids every day to come out about sex crimes. And now we're telling these kids that nothing's going to be done. A relative of the victim is talking about this Oklahoma statute. I call the playing doctor statute. It says when it comes to lewd acts against those under 16 in prosecution, it shall not apply unless the accused is at least three years older than the victim. I started screaming and yelling them for, to stop. In Kim's case, she says the boy that held her down was eight and the two that touched her were a little under 13. And so the kids were not only able to get away with it, but in their mind, I could only imagine that they're thinking that that's okay. She says a Cleveland County District Attorney faxed her the statute as an explanation. The intent behind the law is to say we don't make criminals out of children who are trying to explore life. Mary understands that intent, but thinks unfortunately these days, kids aren't always kids. That makes you realize how capable these kids are of knowing and understanding things about sex and sex crimes. If I were the parents of a young girl, I would be highly upset. But the district attorney can only file charges that the legislature allows him to file. It's why Kim thinks something has to change. I don't sleep. Uh, I've been having trouble at school. We should be able to press charges. It's just not fair. And the victim's relative wants the statute reworded, but the part in question is actually part of an amendment added to the statute in recent years. Kelly? All right, Colleen, no comment from the Cleveland County DA, only that they cannot confirm nor discuss cases involved.